June is Men's Health Month, and all month long, doctors are ringing the bell for men to come in, get that annual checkup, and we know that that, of course, is easier said than done. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. people can be a little resistant mm -hmm. sometimes. Doctors say men tend to put off their checkups far more than women, and that can lead to some pretty serious health issues down the road. So in today's Living Healthy segment, Nick McGill is here. He spoke with doctors at Hancock Health who were hoping some of you pay them a visit sometime soon, right? Yeah, that's right, guys. And I feel like they could be talking directly to my father here. So pops, listen up. According to a recent poll, roughly a third of men in the U.S. don't feel the need for yearly health screenings, with two thirds believing they're naturally healthier than others. That's not the case, though. According to the CDC, 51.9% of men aged 20 and older have high blood pressure or were taking medicine for hypertension. 40% of men aged 20 and older are obese. And 13% of men age 18 or older are in fair or poor health. Couple that with the fact that on average men live five years less than women and you can see the part of the issue here. Now part of the problem is like we mentioned so many men do overestimate their general health but there's also some societal factors here. Men always feel under pressure to be tough or to not complain about the things that bother them. But doctors say there are so many things we need to be keeping tabs on, things we need to be talking about, and that can be big issues or just the small ones that can creep up on us. To have an incremental checkpoint, see for example, there are a lot of conditions like you mentioned, cancer screening is one of them, colon cancer screening, prostate cancer screening, especially if you belong to certain ethnic groups or if you have a family history of prostate cancer or colon cancer, then we started screening early. But more importantly, there are some conditions like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. These are, I would say, almost silent killers because there's no way you're going to know what your blood sugar number is or your blood pressure is unless you check it at home. For Dr. Seishan, it's all about small investments and big dividends. He says small investments like regular checkups can pay out big when it comes to staying on top of your health. But on the flip side, neglecting those checkups can have exponential consequences if problems progress without being identified. Pay close attention to your body because it's like a car. You drive a car, you hear a rattle. Sometimes you take it to the mechanic and say, hey, every time I drive 55 miles an hour, the car rattles a little bit. Can you check this out for me? We do that to our cars, why not to ourselves? If you find something that's not quite right, talk, call your doctor and check. Now, one big issue with men is our heart health. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of men and women. And while some may even cite the cost of health care as an obstacle, just think about it this way. If something does go wrong, those are exponentially greater costs usually than if you just go for a checkup ahead of time. Your show. All right, Nick, thank you. I think mm -hmm. so many of us speaks to say, hey, all dads, yeah. if yeah. you're watching us today, good Dad, advice. it's time to go to the doctor's right. office and get the checkup. So.